I, like all nerds, enjoy pop figures. But I try to be fiscally responsible, and as a result, only invest in certain ones. In particular, Sailor Moon. I love Sailor Moon, from the heavily censored version I watched as a five-year-old to the current Crystal revamp. But with Funko releasing the Outer Planet Scouts, I felt that the pops needed a display update. So of course, I turned to 3D printing to make a tiered display. I took measurements. I sketched out ideas. I modeled. It seemed so easy. Until I exported and realized how big it was. So I sliced, diced, and added pegs to notch in. The prints were so long. 12 hours? Like a Westeros winter. <laughs> Nevertheless, I persisted and printed. Did I mention this includes NeoPixels? Because of course it does. I used my handy dandy E6000 glue and joined up my hunks of plastic. And then I used hot glue for the electronics. A sacrificial USB cable was hot glued in for power. And then the stage was literally set. And after all that, here it is. Really happy with how this came out. The Sailor Scouts fit really great in the little holders for their stands because for some reason they make the female pop figures with tiny little stick legs like brat dolls and then they need a stand. For the NeoPixels, uh, I had gotten the, um, there's different spacing on the strips when you buy them from Adafruit at least. And uh, I got the one that has like less pixels on a strip because it, to be honest, cheaper, that's why. Um, I was a little concerned it wouldn't look good, but it kind of looks more like stage lighting, actually, with the way it's diffusing, so that's pretty good. And it is running just off the USB uh, on a USB port of my computer that's down under my desk, and it's working well, and so if I wanted to change the lights on the fly, too, I could just edit the circuit Python code real quick and ready to go. One thing I might try is assigning certain pixels, like different light, because it'd be kind of cool to have green uh, for Jupiter, then red, then like uh, pink for the, the moon scouts there, and then uh, blue for Mercury and orange for Venus. Uh, the only thing that I think could have been done a little bit better, the back tier probably could have been a little bit higher because the outer scouts are still kind of eclipsed <laughs> by uh, the original scouts. You could kind of 3D print though an adapter to raise them up a bit, uh, so I'll, I might do that in the future because I mean I'm sure as hell not reprinting these giant like stage bits, that would be bad. Simple project from a design and electronics perspective, uh, the printing, very long, very, very long, but worth it in the end because now we can, we can see them all and they're, they're doing their thing. But that's going to do it for this video. Going to have a write up on the project on Hackster.io as well as all the files up on Thingiverse for the printing and all that jazz. So if you want to make your own or adapt it to suit your pop figure collection, you can do that. So if you like this video, toss me a thumbs up, leave any questions or comments down below. Thank you for watching, consider subscribing for more content like this, and until next time, this has been Blitz City DIY.